Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Wednesday, happy Cinco de Mayo, and as we kick off your Wednesday, it's a nice, dry, quiet start. You can see from our rusty Pelican camera, just a few clouds over Biscayne Bay and Key West. Also looking good, tranquil, some clouds around, but no rain as of yet. Thanks to our weather watcher, Sandra Kibuth, for sharing this pretty sunrise from Lauderdale by the sea. I love the pink and the purple colors in the sky there. Real-time Doppler radar yeah, in the clear, not dealing with any wet weather. You don't need the umbrella yet, but you will as we head into later today, but especially tomorrow. Winds are calm or light, by the way. That fire that's been burning near Homestead Speedways, 80% contain and Card Sound Road is open again. Mid to upper 70s in Broward and Dade County, low 80s down through the Keys, and it is quite active across much of the nation, the central and northern U.S. right now, dealing with some unsettled weather, but right now the nastiest storms are moving in across the Gulf Coast states, once again across the southeast into the Florida Panhandle, really up and down the eastern seaboard. The Storm Prediction Center is placing the Gulf Coast states, the Panhandle, through the Carolinas under a marginal risk of severe storms today. And then tomorrow, a heads up for everyone here in South Florida, the Storm Prediction Center has placed I-95 corridor, Miami-Dade, Broward border, northward in a marginal risk of severe storms. However, all across South Florida, we need to stay weather alert as we'll have the isolated chance for strong to severe storms, although it looks like the worst of the weather will be likely north of Miami-Dade County. The timing would be the afternoon into the evening, and we'll see the potential, especially for damaging winds, hail, and localized flooding. So make sure you have your umbrellas handy and you keep your eye to the sky and try to be as safe as possible today. In order to be safe, you want to drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated because we're going to be heating up to 90 degrees and a chance for a few showers. The rain chance is low, but wow, the humidity is going to be through the roof. It's going to feel like the mid to upper 90s this afternoon, so try to stay cool however you can. And for boaters, uh, make sure to exercise caution. So future radar is showing that as we head into the afternoon, we could see a few showers bubble up today. And then tomorrow into the afternoon and evening, we could see some heavy downpours leading to flooding lightning, gusty winds, even hail possibility. So again, boaters, seas two to three, light chop on the bays, exercise caution. Tonight, the upper 70s, summer muggies, partly cloudy. Tomorrow will be another hot and steamy day, and then the storms develop. And then as we head into Friday, upper 80s with passing storms ahead of a weak cold front, which will help to bring our humidity and temperatures down. By Saturday, it'll feel much more pleasant and comfortable with the mid to upper 80s, not as hot, not as humid. Sunday for Mother's Day, 87. Hey, this Friday, I'll I'll be sharing your Mother's Day photos, so don't forget to send them in. Don't delay. Email them to CBS4Pics at CBS.com. We want to honor and pay tribute to all the special mamas.